There are just 10 days to go until the Commonwealth Games begin in New Delhi, but will they be ready? A controversial new book details deep divisions within the White House over the war in Afghanistan. And he has dominated English football for the past 20 years. Manchester United manager Sir Alex Ferguson speaks to CNN. Live from CNN's Hong Kong studios, I'm Christy Lustout. Well, they called them the friendly games. The image projected to the world was meant to be a smiling tiger called Shira. But the images the world has actually seen from New Delhi have raised very few smiles. Images of armed guards. And, as we've been reporting, images of collapsed infrastructure. And these images from our sister network, CNN IBN, taken at the Athletes' Village. You could see the dirt all over that staircase. And this is the basement of one of the buildings. And as you can see, it's flooded. Questionable living conditions coupled with security concerns have prompted many athletes to delay their travel plans, demanding an improvement in facilities. But as Phil Block tells us, some athletes are refusing to go to the games at all. Now up next, a stunning revelations from Washington journalist Bob Woodward. Now his latest book, it's called Obama's Wars, focuses on the battle within the White House over the U.S. president's strategy in Afghanistan. And we'll tell you what was said next. Welcome back. Now, a controversial new book reaches stores on Monday. It's by veteran U.S. journalist Bob Woodward and takes an intimate look at the Obama administration. Now, Obama's wars portrays deep divisions and intense infighting between White House and military advisors over the war in Afghanistan. And it shows a commander in chief so desperate for an exit plan, he dictated his own strategy in a six page document. Woodward quotes the U.S. president saying this, quote, I can't let this be a war without an end, and I can't lose the whole Democratic Party, unquote. Now, the Pentagon requested 40,000 additional troops as part of a long-term mission. The president is also quoted as saying, I'm not doing long-term nation building. I am not spending a trillion dollars. Now, the book also suggests the top commander in Afghanistan has serious doubts about the mission. Now, Woodward quotes General David Petraeus as saying the war is not winnable. It's the kind of fight we're in for the next few generations. Yeah. Uh, one new uh, revelation in Bob Woodward's book has been confirmed by U.S. government official uh, w Woodward. He wrote about counterterrorism pursuit teams in the book Obama's Wars. And the official tells CNN the CIA created and controls a paramilitary force of some 3,000 Afghans. Uh, the force conducts secret missions targeting Al Qaeda and Taliban fighters inside Pakistan. The official describes the force as well-trained and effective. So just how is news of this paramilitary force going over in Pakistan? We'll turn to Reza Sayan, CNN Islamabad, for reaction to this revelation. Reza, first, any government reaction? Oh, their roles have been reversed for some Mexican journalists as more speak out on their behalf. Look at their real fears up ahead. Live from Hong Kong, you're back with World Report. Now, a number of storms not showing any signs of weakening. We've got our meteorologist, Jennifer Delgado. She has her eye on the Atlantic as well as the Pacific. She joins us now. Jen. That's right, Christy. Both eyes on one area and then another area we're watching. That's right. It was the mid-autumn festival where we go out and we moon bathe. You we did. admire the moon, the nice full moon. And, um, well, according to the Chinese, we don't see a man the moon. We see a rabbit. There's a long story behind it. I'm not going to go into that, but... Look at the moon again, see what you see. All right, was it pretty cloudy out? Um, yeah, it was. I know. It was, unfortunately. It was. But that's why we, we have the lanterns to kind of light our paths, I guess. I don't know. I'm getting Absolutely. it all mixed up. Jen right. Delgado, thank Take you care. very much. Pretty impressive. Now, still to come here on World Report, we're going to meet some journalists in Mexico who, after a spate of violence, are finally putting words to their personal fears. Hear their stories next.
Welcome back to World Report. I'm Christy Lustad, and here are the top stories. A crisis talks are underway in New Delhi as India's Prime Minister tries to get the Commonwealth Games back on track. Our teams from Canada, New Zealand, and Scotland have all postponed travel plans amid concerns that the Games Village is not ready. A UN panel says Israel broke international laws when its commandos raided an aid flotilla headed for Gaza in May. The UN's Human Rights Council says Israeli troops used unnecessary violence in the incident that left nine activists dead. Israel says the report is biased. Now, Germany's Catholic bishops are meeting to discuss compensation claims from victims of sexual abuse. The church differs with victims' groups over how much should be paid in compensation. Russia's Prime Minister Vladimir Putin is calling for a zone of peace in the Arctic. Speaking at a summit in Moscow to discuss the future of the region, which is said to hold significant oil and gas reserves. Our representatives from several nations are at the meeting. They have competing claims on the energy rich region. A Mexican journalist was shot and killed last week in Juarez. Our prosecutors say the killing does not appear linked to his work, but rights groups say dozens of Mexican journalists have been murdered in the past decade. Well, that story being watched not only in the U.S., but all over the world. Now, just ahead, Alex meets Alex. We're talking about CNN's Alex Thomas. He's sitting down for a chat with Manchester United boss Sir Alex Ferguson. That interview is next. Now, around the world, scientists are studying ways to reduce pollution and to make our lives healthier. Well, Kate Giles is uh, with us now. She's got the latest in the world of sport. And Kate, you've got some news just in about the boxer Ricky Hatton. Yeah, that's right, Christy. This story has just crossed just a few moments ago. It's, uh, as you say, about Ricky Hatton, the British boxer who has now been stripped of his license to box. And uh, for more of that interview, you can go to the web. Just click on cnn.com slash world sport. And you can, in fact, watch the entire interview. And Christy, I can tell you it is well worth it. Make sure you do that yourself. Yeah, and I see the highlights on CNN.com there, as well as the text version, too. Thank you very much, Kate. Now, Forbes has just issued its new Forbes 400s, a list of the 400 richest people in the U.S. Well, up next, the uh, green-eyed monster is ruling the Internet. And find out what this teenage pop sensation has done to turn Bieber fever into Justin Jealousy. Next. Now, teenage girls around the world are heartbroken. It seems pop sensation Justin Bieber was caught on camera kissing a girl. These girls have to get over him. Now, as regular viewers know, uh, we're big tweeters on this show, so I've got to confess some Justin jealousy of my own. Mr. Bieber alone apparently commands 3% of all activity on Twitter. Bieber fever. I'm Christy Lustad in Hong Kong. World Business Today with Andrew Stevens, Maggie Lake, and Charles Hudson is up next. <laughs>